Back with us on the three-hour news show, let's have a look at the latest from Southeast Asia and also around the world. Now, with a population of nearly 19.6 million and 61.3% of whom are Muslims, Malaysia has its own traditions and customs of Ramadan. And now that the country has reopened its international borders, it's now time to check with the current situation on that matter. And also the Ramadan vibes straight from the Indonesian ambassador to Malaysia, His Excellency Hermono. How are you doing, Mr. Hermono? I'm good, thank you. Yes. How are you there? Great, we are great here. Thank you so much for joining us. So Malaysia finally reopened its border for international tourism. Um, how is the current tourism situation in the country now? Can you tell us? I think the country uh, start uh, back to full uh, normal. Uh, last week I just arrived from Jakarta and I noticed the airport was very, very busy. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't see any uh, restriction anymore. A lot of people, a long queue uh, in the immigration. So I <laughs> think about back to a fully normal as before the pandemic two years ago yeah yeah that's right and a couple of days ago we saw the reopening of the border in jb to singapore and there were so many people but uh, also i remember that exactly one year ago in the same month of ramadan we had this uh, this kind of conversation as well and as neighboring countries indonesia and malaysia celebrate ramadan pretty much in the same ways and i can tell that the vibes is apparently different than mm. what we had last year. Can you tell us about the Ramadan vibes in Malaysia? Are there any unique Ramadan I, traditions currently held now? Yeah, yeah, but uh, what we, I noticed now, even uh, the joy, the situation, the feeling of the happiness of the people, even more compared to before the Ramadan, maybe mm. because. Uh, Last two years, people are required to stay at home, and now they are allowed to go to the street uh -huh. buying some. Mm -hmm. So uh, I can see the you know, the joyous uh, is totally different. Uh, people are more happy with the euphoria is there. So yeah, that's I just, right. Uh, traditional market, so long, <laughs> long queue there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sir. Yeah. So. So if I were to go to Malaysia during the month of Ramadan, are there anything that tourists should watch while traveling in Malaysia during the month of Ramadan, such as norms or regulations to follow or uh, for both Muslim and non-Muslims? Basically, the, the, the restriction applied only for those who haven't been uh, vaccinated. But mm -hmm. if you are already vaccinated, no more restriction. You can go to the market uh, without any limitation of number. You can go to the mosque or any places without any restriction as long as you have uh, full vaccinated. Yeah? So uh, now Malaysia, uh, I can say, uh, fully back to normal uh, for those who have been uh, fully vaccinated. Mm. So you can, now is the time to come to Malaysia because you see the, <laughs> the, the euphoria of the people right now is, is at, at the peak uh, mm -hmm. of the, 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 the euphoria. So yeah. it's sweet nice to see uh, right now. But uh, sir, unlike uh, what we see in Singapore right now, Malaysia and Indonesia is still having the uh, mass mandate in, in public areas. Uh, that being the, uh, that we are still uh, in, 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 in guards with the COVID-19 uh, cases there. But how is it about the Indonesian in Malaysia? Uh, are there still any cases uh, involving Indonesian citizens or um, how about the numbers? The number is still high. Mm. Uh, the case is still above uh, 10,000 daily cases, but uh, the good thing is uh, most of the cases are categorized as uh, uh, state uh, one and two. So it's very mild symptom and mm. no need for hospitalization. So it's uh, kind of normal uh, flu, if I mm. can say. Even uh, our staff uh, at the embassy, uh, always some someone uh, got uh, uh, infected, but the symptom is very mild. So people are not uh, scared anymore with uh, COVID, <laughs> unlike uh, last year or two years ago, where when we, when we was informed that our staff got yeah. COVID and everybody yeah. was yeah. Panic, crying. But now they just take it easy. Huh? Very, so everyone is much more relaxed in this yeah. case. Yeah, no more luck, no more surprise. Uh, oh, Ambassador, I got uh, uh, COVID. Oh, just take rest. Are you okay? Okay, no problem. <laughs> just need some rest. Oh, so, oh, just like that. You know? yeah. Very. 
Yeah, like you said, so we're not afraid anymore. Because we're vaccinated. We're vaccinated. So case. can you tell us about the vaccination rate of Indonesian in Malaysia as of now? You know, uh, thanks to Malaysian government, those uh, uh, foreigners living in Malaysia, uh, they have been uh, given a vaccine as well, including the un undocumented uh, migrant workers also can go to the vaccination center uh, without any fear. So we are facilitating them also to get uh, vaccination. So I, uh, now the vaccination rate in Malaysia already very high, uh, mm -hmm. in including uh, among the migrant workers in Malaysia because they are uh, allowed to get uh, vaccinated as well. Uh, there's no discrepancy mm. or discrimination yeah. uh, uh, migrant workers in Malaysia in terms of, in, in term of uh, vaccination. All right. So uh, what about uh, people going to mosque uh, during Ramadan? Is there still any restrictions like, uh, uh, you know, social distancing or still uh, certain, uh, certain regulations? <laughs> No, no more. You can go as, ah. as, um, they can, as, as many as their mosque can accommodate. Uh, ah, I see. Uh, there's no distancing anymore. Of course, you are required to wear a mask, but yeah, yeah, yeah. in terms of uh, distancing, there's no more uh, regulation. Now that you mentioned about migrant workers, mm -hmm. Uh, we know that now the borders are open and the migrant workers in Malaysia also will be able to uh, do the homecoming trips. Is there any um, certain estimated numbers, sir, about how many migrant workers or Indonesians in Malaysia will go for the homecoming trip? I think many of them has uh, returned to uh, their home country because uh, in the last two years, I had noticed uh, around 500,000 Indonesian mm. uh, or, uh, went to their home because uh, many of them, uh, they lost their job here during the COVID because of the uh, lockdown. But uh, still, there are people, the migrant workers who are willing to go uh, to celebrate the Ramadan in their home uh, village with the family after uh, two years uh, being uh, trapped here in being Malaysia. Family. So, those who, who are documented, uh, yes, uh, there are a lot of requests uh, that they are going to go to, they are going to celebrate uh, Ramadan and Idul Fitri with families in Indonesia. But the number already much uh, low uh, compared to, uh, let's say, at the beginning of the pandemic where they are kind of exodus people going home because they lost their job uh, in Malaysia. Mm, mm. Mm. Right, so can you tell us what have the KBRI or have the embassy have done for the uh, migrant workers in Malaysia, the Indonesian migrant workers, to come back uh, having a smooth um, trip back yeah. home for this Idul Fitri? Is there, any, is there anything uh, that uh, has been done to facilitate them? Yes, uh, we, during the pandemic, we, we, uh, we work together with uh, NGOs, uh, local Indo Indonesian NGOs, to facilitate their return. We chartered uh, flight because uh, many people are having uh, difficulties to find uh, mm -hmm. uh, So we chartered more than 40 flights to uh, different, dis different destinations in Indonesia. Mm -hmm. But the request uh, for uh, facilitation now already very low. Uh, I believe many of them already uh, uh, returned to their uh, village, but uh, also the government also reopened uh, some destinations, Surabaya, uh, Yogyakarta, and Bali, Jakarta, and Medan also open. So there's no more difficulties to return home because the flight uh, uh, back to normal. Uh, so I think uh, the request for facilitation is not as high as uh, during the lockdown. Well, sir, thank you so much for doing that for our people there in, in Malaysia. And also, we are wondering if the uh, Indonesian Embassy in Malaysia is organizing any Ramadan events or occasions for our fellow Indonesian citizens there. Probably some traditional uh, market yes. <laughs> in Indonesian Embassy or our iftar together. Uh, we have we have uh, iftar every Friday. Ah. Uh, and then uh, but basically for the embassy uh, family, but also some friends, they join uh, with us. Uh, not many, only uh, we can accommodate uh, 200 uh, prayers. Mm -hmm. And also uh, at Ramadan, we are going to organize uh, Ramadan praying together uh, in my residence. So 
those who are willing to come uh, we can they can join uh, to my residence here in in Kuala Lumpur to pray uh, Ramadan and to uh, and to taste uh, some uh, traditional uh, Idul Fitri food uh, prepared by by my family <laughs> that is so kind what about uh, can you tell us about the food what kind of food uh, special foods are you looking yeah, forward to the food, uh, the food that in Indonesia during during the Idul Fitri we, we serve similar uh, uh, lontong uh, opor mm, yeah, something like that yeah lontong opor <laughs> that's right some uh, cookies uh, but uh, I think we are going to have a very big joy because yeah. uh, in the last year there's no celebration at all so this year we are very excited to, yes. uh, <laughs> to see the, 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 the Idul Fitri this time will be uh, very much different compared to the last two years yeah and we can just feel it from talking to you <laughs> sir you're so joyful I love yeah, the yeah. vibe this is like this is like a very different vibe that uh, that I felt from, from last, last year. year. Yeah, <laughs> like uh, it's to see the smile on on your face, uh, sir. This is like certainly very joyful. But uh, last but not least, any messages that you would like to address for the Indonesian citizens living in Malaysia, or uh, let's say those perhaps uh, wanting to visit uh, to visit Malaysia. Yeah, uh, of course. Uh, I take this opportunity to wish you. Uh, Bless uh, Ramadan, and uh, we are uh, welcoming also Idul Fitri the next few days. So, uh, of course, the time is uh, different now. We we have more uh, freedom to move uh, to go anywhere you want, but still, COVID is around us. Uh, mm -hmm. but, uh, I ask you to apply the regulation, the SOP. You have to comply with the SOP, uh, wearing masks uh, in public places, especially, and don't forget to wash your head. That is right, <laughs> certainly is right. But precaution is still needed because uh, COVID is still very high, above uh, 10,000 uh, cases, uh, daily cases. Mm -hmm. So, but let's uh, celebrate it more positive. <laughs> yeah, we. All right, Your Excellency, thank you so much for being with us today and thank you so much for your time. We really look forward to hearing from you again soon. Uh, should there be any updates in the future, please send our regards yeah. to uh, your family yeah, and also you, uh, Indonesian yeah, we're in Malaysia. We're looking forward to welcoming you in Kuala Lumpur, yeah? yeah. Oh, we'll be so happy. <laughs> we'll be so happy. Thank you so much, sir. Celebrate with Oh, wow. I love that, really. I love that. Thank you so much, sir.